Mm. Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking one pot chicken rice in garlic black bean sauce. So let's start cooking. Now we'll start to marinate our chicken. I have with me over here two whole pieces of boneless chicken leg, approximately a total of 450 grams. Cut them into small pieces like this. This will be good. For the marinade, we'll need one and a half tablespoon of black bean paste. Put it in. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. One tablespoon of dark soya sauce. And a few dashes of white pepper. Mix them up well and we'll let this marinate for approximately 20 minutes. If you want to prepare this overnight, you can do so too, no problem at all. This is a very, very easy and simple dish to do. I'll see you back in a while. Now we put the dish together, heat up your pot. I'm using a non-stick pot over here. If you want to use a rice cooker, by all means, do so. Using medium heat, add in oil, put in two pieces of shallots, thinly sliced. Fry them around until you can smell them. We need the oil to be infused with the beautiful fragrance from the shallots. Once you can start to smell them, we'll add in our garlic. One whole bulb of garlic, chopped up, put them all in. Same thing, just fry them until you can smell them. If you're using a rice cooker, please choose open lid cooking for this. Once you can smell them, we'll add in our chicken, add in everything. Fry them up well. Don't worry about the base having a little bit of charred meat like this. It's fine. Later we'll be adding water to deglaze it. Once we've mixed them up well, we'll add in our rice. Add in 340 grams of rice. This is equivalent to two and a half cups. Those cups that come with your rice cooker. I've washed and rinsed them dry. Mix them up well. This can easily serve four person. Once you mix them up well, we add in water. I'll be using one to one ratio of rice to water. Add in the water now. Two and a half cups of the water. Right, now we can scrape up the bottom a little bit. Deglaze it. We'll put the lid on. Turn the heat down to medium low and we'll cook this for 15 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 15 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Right, very nice. Now we'll add in our favorite greens. I'm adding in three stalks of Xiao Bai Cai. Just spread them across. Like this will be good. One tablespoon of sesame oil. Just pour it over the Xiao Bai Cai. Put the lid back on and we'll cook for further one minute. I'll see you back in a while. One minute is up. Let's have a look. Right, the veg is also cooked. Now we just need to confirm that the rice is cooked. So just using a spoon, take a few grains out. Using your thumb and index finger, just take one out and press it. Right, it should, it should be mashed up easily like this and then it's done. Mmm, delicious. Now we add in one whole stalk of spring onion, spread them. Turn off the heat. There should be a little bit of charred rice underneath the pot. So just mix them up well. This is what I want. Really, really beautiful and delicious. Once you mix them up well, now we'll put the cover back on. We'll let the steam get into the rice so that it will be puffier. We'll wait for one to two minutes before we have our lunch. And now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Wow, smells really, really good. Mm. The black bean paste is very, very fragrant. And when we have this very nice 
faint garlic overall smells that's coming out from here. This is really good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching and now it's your turn to cook. Bye bye. See ya.